Look closely at the computer chair in Tom's room and observe the angle formed by the legs of the chair. We can see that the angles have a common vertex and a common arm. Also, notice the non-common arms. They are on either side of the common arm. Such pairs of angles are known as adjacent angles. Did you also observe that these angles have no common interior points? Can you think of other examples of adjacent angles? An open book, the wheels of a cart, the steering wheel of a car, and a hand fan are all examples where we can find a pair of angles placed next to each other. Also, two adjacent angles can be either supplementary or complementary. They can also be formed by two obtuse angles. Another combination is having one acute angle and the other an obtuse angle. Even the legs of the clothes stand in Tom's room form adjacent angles. But did you notice that the non-common arms of these angles are opposite rays that form a line? So we can say that the sum of the angles equal to 180 degrees or the angles in a linear pair are supplementary. Take a look at this arrangement of bricks. Can you see the linear pairs of angles? A chopping board, a shelf, a pen stand are a few other examples where a linear pair of angles can be seen. What a nice pair of scissors Tom has. Can you see the four angles in the scissors? Let's name these angles as 1, 2, 3 and 4. We can see that angle 1 is vertically opposite to angle 3. And angle 2 is vertically opposite to angle 4. So, angles 1 and 3 and angles 2 and 4 are known as a pair of vertically opposite angles. But are these vertically opposite angles equal? Let's use this experiment and try to prove that vertically opposite angles are equal. Take a look at angles 1 and 2. We can see that these angles form a linear pair, which means the sum of these angles equals 180 degrees. Let's mark this result as 1. Similarly, angles 2 and 3 form a linear pair. So, sum of angles 2 and 3 equals 180 degrees. Let's mark this result as 2. So, from results 1 and 2, we get angle 1 plus angle 2 equal to angle 2 plus angle 3. On cancelling angle 2, which is the common angle on both the sides, we get angle 1 equal to angle 3. Similarly, we can prove that angle 2 is equal to angle 4. So, vertically opposite angles are opposite to each other and these angles are equal. Take a look at the angles formed by this wooden stool, rotating door and jungle gym. These are a few examples of vertically opposite angles. Congratulations!